Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wanted to apologize for my slight delay, not slight, it was a very large delay um, in uploading and recording videos. Um, I had a lack of resources, but now I'm back and I'm better. Word to Bryson Diller. Um, and today in my video, I wanted to do a get ready, a chit chat, get ready with me about um, Depo Provera and other forms of birth control, just to kind of inform the women. I know that it's kind of, um, a lot of people can't go to their moms, a lot of people can't go to older people that they know for birth control advice or for things like that. And a lot of people are misinformed about where to get it, how you can get it, um, how much it costs, and what it could possibly potentially do to your body. Um, so I have a, my own personal experience with Depo Provera, but I also um, am gonna share some light on other birth controls as well. Um, so I just really wanted this to be a little informative, fun and friendly to check it ready with me. So let's tune right on into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to really speak on is about Depo Provera. Um, so first of all, when you take it, you're not supposed to be on it for longer than two years. Um, you get it in three uh, month increments. So every three months you have to go back to your doctor um, so they can inject you. They either inject it in your arm or in your hip. And it's just a shot and it's a shot full of hormones. So Depo Provera reduces libido. libido. It also, really really makes people gain a lot of weight that didn't happen in my case specifically as you can see i'm still pretty small but for a lot of people who have been my size they've you know blown up a little bit which is okay for people who want to gain weight but you know like that is a huge side effect that i've noticed in most of my friends who have taken depo provera um for my personal experience with depo provera it had a lot of effect on my emotions on how i was feeling um it also had a huge effect on my menstrual cycle i ended up i ended up being on my menstrual cycle for like four months almost after i got on depo provera and it was just like it wasn't non-stop bleeding but it was i bled every single day and it was like this is not a period this is not cool like and so yeah i was on my period for about four months no lie no exaggeration i'm actually shortening it because i don't want to make it too long like i think it was about four months um so yeah but then eventually so i was on it for about a year um so that's about four shots um because you get it every three months so about four shots i was on it um and i'll say that i was on my period for half the time and off my period for half the time so at one time i just had a period and one time i didn't have one at all and it was really um creepy because i didn't know when to expect it to come back and even when i got off i was like okay when is it gonna come back and it just never did um when i was on the depot i kind of lost myself i didn't know what i was doing or who i was or i was just sad all the time i would just sit in bed and like cry like for hours and nobody would know in my family you know the only person who really knew was my sister um and she would like check up on me but i was also going through a very hard time in my relationship during that time but like not that hard you know like so it was like um it was very different for me because I, I've, I've never been like that. I've never been super, super, I'm emotional, I'm sensitive and all that stuff, but I've never been like that, like to the point where I was just like, I didn't know what to do with my life and I was just like feeling really down. And like, thank God for my best friend Antonia because like she literally like helped me through it because nobody else understood. And I didn't want to open up to anybody because I felt weak. But yeah, it was like, I didn't have any control of my emotions. I was getting very upset, very jealous. I'm not a very jealous person at all. Um, but I was getting very jealous, very insecure, um, just overly not me. <laughs> it just wasn't me, you know? And so I kind of ended up blaming it on the birth control. But then slightly after, a few of my other friends had gotten on Depo and they had the same exact um, effects with their emotions, like uncontrollably emotional. And so that's when I really was like, okay, yeah, it was probably Depo. That's pretty much it for me and Depo. The emotions, the slight depression that I, I believe that I w went through when I was on Depo. And then, um, of course, the reduced libido, it, and it um, like reduces, it, it weakens your bone density. So you have to also take vitamin D and vitamin C while you're on it. And I didn't. But if you do get on it, then I recommend that you really do take it. So now, <laughs> I am now on um, the birth control pill, the pill yeah so the pill is kind of the same you go every three months and i know i said that i didn't want to go every three months but you know i wanted to just be on something a little bit lighter for my body and i know that the pill is like has been 
around for years and years and years and years and years so i was like you know like i think this would be a good change for me and so i'm on the pill now and it has thankfully um straightened out my menstrual cycle again so i'm back to normal um i don't have the same um cycle like it, it didn't like it's not the same as it was before but it is back to normal where i'm every around every four weeks i'm bleeding again so I'll, i mean as much as you wouldn't think you'd be happy for that i'm kind of happy for that because now i know when it's coming and i know i'm not like you know going through underwear and pants and stuff like that so that's that's very nice for me um and also i, I haven't experienced any emotional side effects really um in terms of it um my period my menstrual cycle has been a little bit heavier i will uh, admit because i'm a very 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 light bleeder but ever since i've gotten on the pill it has been a little bit less light <laughs> as if i could say um, so the other forms of birth control are the pills of course that I, like i've spoke about the iud which is a device that's put into your uterus to prevent pregnancy the implant which is a tiny thin rod that's put in your arm it's very small you can feel it though um and it is surgically surgically put in it, don't, it doesn't take that long and i've heard it doesn't hurt too bad so that's for that one the diaphragm is a shallow bendable cup that you put inside your vagina that prevents the pregnancy. There's also spermicide that you can get. You can order it on Amazon. I know that for sure. Um, but I think you can. I went to Walgreens to look for it. I didn't see it there. So I don't know if you can get it at Walgreens, but maybe like a Walmart or a Target. You could just Google spermicide and see where they have it. Um, so that's something it's like kind of like a kind of like a tampon. So it's like this, the, the spermicide is inside of the tube and then you just put it in you right before you're about to have sex and it's supposed to fight off sperm um there's a cervical cap which is a little cup made from soft silicone and it's shaped like a sailor's hat that you put inside of your vagina to cover your cervix there's a female condom which is internal condoms um that are soft like pla that are soft like plastic pouches that you put inside your vagina as well that cover your vagina to create a barrier um and then there's the birth control patch so my cousin had this one it's actually very cool i think you just like i think you apply it to your back okay your your belly your upper arm your back your butt or your back okay so i was like you okay so you can apply it to those four places and it's just like literally it's like a patch. <laughs> and you just put it on and then um it works um you're supposed to put it on um, every three weeks and it releases hormones throughout your body um i don't know how i don't know what but i know that you can probably find that maybe if you go to planned parenthood or went to your um resource health center on on campus or if you just go to your regular doctor and ask them about it i'm pretty sure they can give you more information on that one and then the vaginal ring which is like the nuva ring um and it's something that you wear inside your vagina as well that prevents um pregnancy by releasing hormones And there I go, being a glazed donut and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I have links down below um, for Planned Parenthood um, on all the information that I found on Google about um, birth control. I hope you guys enjoyed my story on Depo Prevera. Remind you, um, don't just take my story and never get it. Um, it does affect people differently. However, from my personal experience and from my friend's experience, I realized that it kind of had very similar effects. Um, with both of us so um just sharing to like spread information and to spread knowledge to everybody out there on different things and different paths and different ways that you can get it especially younger people if you guys have any questions or comments at all um please comment them down below if you follow me on any of my social medias those will also be down below um if you want to have more of a personal conversation and know more personal information then definitely message me on one of those but thank you guys again for tuning in i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time